Yes, my friends, what's up? It's your boy HA, and I'm back today with an unexpected upload. I didn't actually plan to do this today, but a few things have popped up, and I feel that it's appropriate to address them, nip them in the bud before they escalate into something which they're not. I've had a couple of comments appearing on my YouTube and then a DM on my Instagram basically saying that I was lying about the Audi R8, that I've never owned it, stop being a fraud, various threats. But anyway, I did buy the R8, so that is not a lie, I did own it, I still own it now, whilst it's in the auction. There's various reasons whilst I decided to put it back into Copart, and I'll go through them quickly now. So, reason number one, which is the main reason why I had to sell it, is because I actually couldn't afford it. Um, it needed a couple of bits doing to it, including the roof, the spoiler, and I didn't actually have the money to do it. I thought I did, but I didn't, and yeah, I don't have the money to maintain it, I don't have the money to look after it, to keep the fuel. It's an expensive car. It's a V10, it's not cheap, the insurance wasn't cheap even, I didn't really look into that first, and yeah, so that's really the main reason I've decided to put it back in the auction. I want to get my money back for it, as I can't really afford it. And I found something else which is a little bit cheaper, a little bit more affordable for me and I think that would be a better move for the channel, a better rebuild and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can release some information about that but at the minute that is very, uh, shh, keep that one quiet. Then the second reason, I wasn't really in love with it, I'll be honest. It's always been my dream car on R8 since I was a little kid and I saw it there, I thought I'd buy it, got it back and yeah, for me it wasn't really what it was cracked up to be, I didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah, and I didn't fall in love with it, so... You know like when you buy some trainers online, they come... They're not really what you think they're going to be, but you've wanted them for a while, so you think, ah, oh, I'll just send them back, get my money back. I don't really have the luxury of doing that when you buy something from Copart. So the next best thing I could do was relist it in the auction and try and get near enough to save money for it again. Because it is worth that. It's a very good car and someone's going to love it. Someone's going to adore it and it's so quick. But... Yeah, it just doesn't really, like a jigsaw, doesn't fit in the puzzle for me at the moment. It's a bit of a shame really, because I have really wanted it, but we move. We don't take no L's in this channel, as I said before, but looks like I've got to take one today. Obviously, I think I'm going to lose some money with it, but look, a mistake's a mistake. You know what, when I was bidding on the auction, I kept bidding and bidding and bidding, and didn't really think about the price, and then a week later it settled in. It was a bit expensive and yeah, I can't really afford it. So. Now, the receipt, if you're still a disbeliever that I actually bought it, I shouldn't have to justify myself like this. I should just be able to explain myself, but the way the world is at the minute, obviously it doesn't work like that. So let me just get on there. So I don't want to show you exactly how much I paid for it, but look, there we go, guys. Sold through, let me just focus that in. Sold through Copart, Audi R8 Spider White, Rochford 26 for the first 2021 and um, yeah so <sighs> I shouldn't have to explain myself it's quite tiring it's quite annoying but I did buy the car I do own it and I am selling it on Copart if you're wondering my Sony camera has died again that camera doesn't stop dying I swear down but anyway there's a couple other things I'd like to say in this video while I'm here Thought I'd stay a little bit longer. The 205 has been saved. Um, it was a first come, first serve basis. I was taking offers and a good friend of mine, Ricky from Kent Smart Repairs, he actually paints all of my projects and does the panel work for them. He messaged me, said he wants to buy it. And with that, he's also going to let me come down and film the restoration process so I can keep you guys up to date and show you what it looks like at the end of the restoration. And I think that car is gonna look proper tidy, back up to scratch, because a car like that should not be scrapped. And hashtag in the comments trending, hashtag save the 205, so you'll be happy to know the 205 has been saved. I'll keep you up to date when that goes. He's actually coming down Friday to pick it up, so hopefully I'll get a bit of footage with him when he comes down here. On Friday, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A in my YouTube video. So I've got a post on my Instagram. I'm gonna put another one up tomorrow night. So you get 48 hours to ask me questions you wanna hear answered. That can be anything from Ace to salvage cars, to clothes, to whatever you wanna know about me, anything, then I'll answer as much as I can. The uh, McLaren 
is ready to be collected Friday. So I'm gonna head down to Yanni's Friday afternoon and pick that up. I'm super, super excited to see how that turns out because that is gonna look sick. Obviously, if you look at T-Way on Tuesday, you can see they've had a little bit of progression with it and it's basically done in a video, so it looks sick. So I can't wait to get down there and pick that up and then I'm gonna go and do the Q&A in the McLaren that night, so it should all tie in pretty well. I just thought I'd address that. I didn't want anything escalating. And especially on the topic of negative comments, I feel like this year, there's so much in the news about people having mental health issues, struggling. And I just feel like there, there's no space for hateful comments and trolling anyway. So what's the point of doing it this year when people are double time struggling? So people like that, you need to get in the bin, get yourself off YouTube. If you've got nothing better to do than, than just be horrible to people. So I'm not talking about just for myself. I'm speaking on behalf of everybody on YouTube and everybody in general. There's no time for negativity. 2021 is a year of positivity and support for everyone. So that's my little piece on it. The yard is very busy. Obviously, I'm going to do the week in the yard this week. Um, if you look out the window quickly, you can see that, yes, we have got loads of cars and they're covered in snow. We've got loads of bales to be run. Everybody's busy and working. I've just finished the auction. Out the back, we're equally as busy. Oh look, we've got some batteries there. We've basically got a load of batteries to go, so I'll probably get that organized tomorrow. And yeah, we've got a, a lot going on at the yard. I've got a lot going on in my life, so I'm just trying to keep busy. And there's a few things in the pipeline. I am gonna be doing a massive, massive giveaway when I hit 50K subs. I know that seems like it's a long time away, I don't think it is. The way we've grown this month, almost got 20,000 subs basically in a month. So in maybe a month, month and a half, I'd love to hit the 50K mark. And yeah, I'm going to be giving away. I know that I'm going to be giving away a car. I'm not sure what car yet, but it's going to be a good one. One that you guys want. And then I'm going to give some other goodies away as well. So hopefully brighten up the start of summer for a couple of my subscribers. And just show you guys some, some love back for basically what you've shown me over the past two months. So... That's that, and then yeah, I'm planning on buying an RS or an ST Focus and rebuilding one of them, or maybe a Golf R, something like that. Not a supercar this time. Um, just think, let the McLaren sell first before I even think about venturing back into the supercar market because you budget for an amount, but there could be so many hidden little costs that you don't foresee, so it's so hard to just buy a car like that and know what you're gonna spend. It's, a, it's that can of worms, it's the famous saying, so I'm a stickler of that. Do a couple of less Trumpy bits before I venture back into that side of the market. And then obviously, for myself, I'm looking for a new car for myself. There is something potentially in the pipeline, but I need to get rid of the Audi first because, yeah, money doesn't grow on trees, unfortunately. Oh look, there's Keith just popped back in. He's finished for the day. We're letting him go early because we've got nothing on this afternoon and we're just flat out in the yard. Literally, I don't probably want to buy cars for a week. We need to catch up. And then, oh yeah, we've got a health and safety visit on the 18th of February. So we're getting ready for that. That's basically them coming in to check up on the COVID, how we're managing it, uh, and then just a general health and safety check. So I'll talk about that more in depth in the weekly yard video when that comes out. I have had a few ideas for an event I plan to run next year. Um, I'd like some feedback in the comments, if possible, and whether you guys would be interested. I'm not sure really on the fundamentals or how it's gonna work yet, but what I wanna do is a, basically a shitbox rally. Um, because you see, you see these rallies like Modball and all that in London, as great as they are, they're not as accessible to, to the wider market. There are some rallies for uh, just your standard run of the mill cars, but basically what I want to do on this one is I want the maximum you can spend is a thousand pound Any more than that and you're disqualified. You don't make it. I'm not sure what price tickets gonna be yet But basically we're gonna drive from London to Paris one day I'm gonna provide le breakfast in London dinner in Paris night stay in Paris And then we're gonna go out and have a party in Paris Obviously providing COVID's over this time next year or in the summertime next year but yeah, let me know if you'd be interested. A rally from London to France in the cheapest car possible, and there'll be a prize for the winner who gets the worst car to Paris 
and actually makes it in one trip because I'm sure there'll be a few breakdowns on that but yeah I think that'd be so much fun that's one of the things and then I'm gonna try and get a little bit of merch out as well later on this year but rather than just your standard printed up stuff I'm actually gonna do like nice clothing take on board what people actually want and then produce stuff that you'd actually wear when you're not just trying to wear some merch, you know, something you'd actually wear. So that's going to wrap up today's little update video. It wasn't something too heavy, wasn't something too long. Just had a couple things I needed to clear up. But yeah, the Audi R8 is mine. <laughs> For the haters who said it wasn't, it is mine. But it won't be this time next week, providing it sells. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow me on Instagram. The giveaway is coming at 50k, so let's grow it, let's get there quickly. And then one of you guys can have a massive, massive win. And I'll drop the car off personally to you with some other goodies when you win. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.